Hey everybody, and welcome to Unboxed. I'm your host, Steve, question mark? And this is questionably Zach. But we can get started. We uh, have something really cool. Comics. Yeah, Woo! two of them. Oh, dang. Here's the first of them. Decoys. Aftershocks. Maniacs of New York, number one. <laughs> Like so we got a copy of that in, uh, I believe it was a replacement for a damage. Yeah. But sure. still cool. Oh, yeah. Great book. Most definitely cool. Really interesting story. After that, we have Virus Comics. Oh. With Never Never, <clears throat> number five, via Heavy Metal. Mm -hmm. After that, we have IDW. We've got Star Wars Adventures, number 13. And then we got G.I. Joe Yearbook. Number four. G.I. Joe, a real American hero. G.I. Joe was there. I think we G.I. Joe take... is the code name for America's highly trained special missions force. Its mission to defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. They never give up. They'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe was there. Knowing it's half the battle, the other half is horrible violence. From there we go to Vault. <clears throat> and we're going to bring out everybody's favorite HVAC repairman. <laughs> the Blue Flame number six, A and B covers. Uh, ooh, Yoshi, Yoshitana. I like that cover. It's really interesting. All right, after that, we've got Source Point. Source Point. Press. We've got Blood on Sunset number one. That one looks interesting. Oh, yeah. Almost looks like vampires. Vampire crime. Yeah. Speaking of vampires, we got The Rise of Dracula, number one. Which I'm definitely picking up. You just like the big, fat, hair, hairless cat. It makes me think that Dr. Evil let, really let his cat go. They have beards. <laughs> and we know how much I love cats. You'll enjoy beards. <laughs> we got Good Boy, number two, A and B. This series is so funny. John Wick, but the guy he dies instead of the dog. Yeah. You know the part they didn't explain? Uh, how does the dog use the guns? How did the dog go from normal dog to anthropomorphic dog? They'll explain it later in part four. Yeah. <laughs> Which, by the way, speaking of John Wick, uh, part four comes out next year. Oh. Yeah, like April. Nice. Not the movie I'm looking forward to next year, though. Uh, I'm also looking forward to that movie. The Massive Weight of Unbearable Talent. Or The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Cage, we could have just walked around the wall. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> from there, we have more Source Point. Just to get us back on track from uh, that stupidity. We got Unborn, number four, A and B. You know what the best part about that trailer is? It doesn't go into the B plot of the movie. No. He's a CIA plant. Yeah, it doesn't talk about that at all. Not at all. From there, we go to Dynamite oh. with Vengeance of Vampirella, number 25. Mm -hmm. I, really I like the Perillo cover. The Perillo cover, always good. Mm -hmm. But, man, her in the leggings. Mm -hmm. Did you bring in the special that they sent us? I don't think I did. Oh. Well, That's we'll, the we'll shame. just have you uh, edit it in. Right here, we've got the... <laughs> the Draculine ash can that we have out front and I'm not going to run over and grab. Well, next up we've got Image Comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's something I'm excited about. We it's have... back. It's bad. It's not lactose free. Ice Cream Man number 27. Ah, the ice cream. More ice cream than ever before. <laughs> More ice creams per man per minute. We... This one, a surprising hit in this store. Oh yeah, it just looks... I need to give it a read, honestly. It looks cool. The format's the thing that's probably going to bother me the most. That's why I didn't pick it up. Yeah. Because, like, whoosh. We've got Echo Lands number five. This one? Ooh, and exciting. It's hey, going to cool. sell out. i got to cover the whole back because people will know. We have Stray Dogs, Dog Days number one. It will sell out very fast. Uh-huh. And next up? Some holdovers from last week because they got they gave us the no no don't sell. Deep Beyond number eleven. And 
one an, I've been collecting and really enjoying. A not surprising hit in the store. Not with our customers. No, no, no. Mirka Andolfo, Sweet Paprika, number six. The main cover. Yeah. From there, we go to Titan Comics with Life is Strange, Selling Dust, A and B. Settling Dust. Or Settling Dust. Yeah. He's... I have a hard time reading, man. It's okay. It's the eye-focusing medication you're on. No, it's the eye-unfocusing medication. Oh, you should take the focusing one again. <laughs> But I forgot what that one was. <laughs> Doctor Who, number two. Or is that number three? No, it's number two. Number two. Doctor huh. Who comic, The Empire of the Wolf. We have Rose on the cover. And Rose is my favorite personal companion. Yeah. I've always liked that individual. All right. Next up. <laughs> Just rock, paper, scissors. Dark Horse. Ah. I'm messing with you. Ah. A curveball. <laughs> 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 All right. <clears throat> We've got... Hellboy, The Bones of Giants, number Which three of four. Also was a hold up. Yeah. Not a hold up. Daisy, number two of five. This one gets good. Ooh. Yep, right up a few of our customers' alleys. If you like the horror. <laughs> the bees! The bees! Another one if you like horror, at least from the solicitation. We have Apache Delivery Service, number one. I'm excited for this one. I'm going to give it a read-through. The art feels very mignola -y. Nice art. Interesting. Just from the couple of pages I looked at, it looks like uh, Catch-22. Yeah, it's like... It's got that feel. From what I remember on the solicitation, I can't remember what they were crossing it with, but it's like something plus Apocalypse Now. We'll go weird. We'll go Lady of the Tramp and Apocalypse well, Now. No, that's Stray Dogs. <laughs> the dogs get contracted to go to <laughs> Vietnam. <laughs> Run from the drunk jungle. Remember, we're going to keep it lo low on the, the licensed music counter. Yeah. We get sued. Less than 10 seconds. Yeah. Fair play. Ah. All right. We got Maze Book number five with the Minotaur. I really like that cover without it the head. It looks so cool. Ooh. It's been an interesting book. Mm hmm. The styling is good. It's got that watercolor styling, and I dig that. Mm -hmm. Always good art. Up next, we have Critical Role, Tales of Exandria, The Bright Queen, issue three, with an ad for Harold County on the back. Ooh. Yeah. We've got Hellboy, The Silver Lantern Club, number three. Ooh. Ooh. One you're going to enjoy. Oh, I always love. Ever since I found, out the, gra found the graphic novel, I've loved the series. We have the aff aforementioned series. Black Hammer Reborn, number seven, with Talkie Walkie. And Colonel Cosmonaut. And then from there, we go to Boom. It's the Boom. I want to hold it. I want to hold that one. No. Up. No, no. We have Power Rangers Universe, number one, cover A. Really cool cover. But not the coolest. There's the coolest. Uh... It shines. It's got that foil on the front. Then we have... I found <sighs> another one. Power Rangers, The Eltarian War, number 14. Then we have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number 70 or 83. <laughs> Same book. And then Power Rangers, number 14, The C cover. Or no, this is like the FOC variant cover. Yeah, the reveal cover. Firefly, number 35. Firefly getting a reboot completely. A whole Dang. new team running. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Just then, beyond. we have Dune, Whisper of uh, the Cal Caladan Seas, number one. Number one. And finally, number one. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, Once in Future, number 23. There's our Boom <laughs> Comics. After that, we have Marvel. No, he's dead. Uh, Cancer. Yeah. Marvel. Okay. Captain or Miss? Uh, Mrs. She got married in the off season. Oh, okay. <clears throat> we have to start everything off. Timeless number one. Great cover. With the Miss Minutes cover, if I remember correctly. First appearance. Yeah. And then we have two Stormbreakers. Nacho Bustos, if I remember correctly. 
And I don't even need to explain this one. Yeah. But that's the better one because She-Hulk, not the Red Ranger. That's racist. I'm not wrong. That's racist. No, I'm not wrong. No, you are. Female Red Ranger. They haven't had that yet. Not to my knowledge. Next up, we have The Death of Doctor Strange, number four. Do -do. Do -do 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 -do. We have Wastelander, Star Lord, number one. Ooh. Do -do -do -do. With the laser gun. This one I'm excited oh, for. I'm excited. Mainly, like, every, the whole, every, yeah. Devil's Reign, number two of six. So cool. <laughs> and now, my personal favorite cover of the week. Star Wars Bounty Hunters, number 19. That split screen That's so cover cool. is so good. A restock I didn't ask for of New Mutants number 23. <laughs> it is really good art inside. It's one of the main... The draws. more recent main line comics that the cover is almost the same as the art in the inside. Nice. I really appreciate that. Unless it's drawn by Rob Liefeld. <sighs> no, I mean, it's Killshot's the one. That was the same art on the inside. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm. 